Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to a new IGCSE Physics video. In this video, we'll talk about the curriculum change in 2016. Recently, if you start to do the past paper, you find that those past paper uh, before 2016 are a bit different from what you could see in 2016. Uh, that's because we have taken some topics away. That means uh, those are out of syllabus and no longer uh, will be tested in your cohort and also in the future. However, we also add some new uh, topic since 2016, so you should uh, check it out. Therefore, you eventually should save some time while you are doing some past paper and not to get confused. Uh, for the paper slumber, I think you should pay attention. Before 2016, uh, you should be doing paper 1, 3, and 6. And after that, since 2016, uh, they restructured the assessment papers. But uh, well, basically, it's more or less the same. Uh, instead, what you do is paper 2, 4, and 6. So make sure you get the correct paper uh, to do and not to somehow get the wrong, maybe the core paper, which is much easier to do. So basically, they have taken away the capacitor and transistor in the circuit uh, and also take away the cathode ray which emits the electron and also the oscilloscope, which is more about the waveform. Uh, instead, they have added the momentum in the mechanics. So here are some examples that are going to show you uh, what are our syllabus from the past paper. So first of all, uh, it's 2011, uh, here you can see a uh, transistor and it's also got a name as well. So whenever you see it, uh, just skip that. Um, and next one, 2012, you also see something like that. It's also the symbol of transistor. For a uh, capacitor, this is a symbol for in the circuit. And sometimes it also appear in the, cap uh, in the MC as well. For cathode ray and oscilloscope, oscilloscope there here are some examples for cathode ray uh, it's very simple uh, that usually they will tell you and also this is how it looks like um, yeah that's how it looks like and also here is an, another example uh, sometimes you also work with the oscilloscope and uh, here is uh, 2010 you see oscilloscope actually is a very simple device which show you uh, the waveform so um, here is an example, uh, however, it should not be uh, assessed anymore after 2016. Um, but of course, I, I think uh, most of you will know how to do uh, this kind of question. For the momentum, um, basically uh, whenever you find those questions in 2016, uh, you will find uh, a few questions uh, in both paper 2 and 4. And these are the expected well, not the red one, but uh, the expected content that IGCSE will want you to know, including how you define momentum with the equation of MV, and also we call the equation of impulse. Um, they also stated that you should use, you should apply the principle of conservation momentum. However, they did not put down the equation, but surely uh, may, all of you should know the equation is uh, this one. Um, for the elasticity of the collision, that means uh, whether the collision is elastic or not, is actually uh, not in the syllabus. So I guess, uh, although I teach you in the class, you don't actually need that. Um, if you really want me to talk about a uh, momentum in a new video, please comment below and let me know. Uh, therefore, I may uh, think about it. Uh, lastly, other than paper 2 and 4, paper 6 also make a change and I do think this is a even um, something that you should pay attention to. And the thing that uh, they have added is something called uh, you need to plan the experiment. So in the past there are usually four questions and four of them, all four of them are just simply uh, doing some measurement and analyze the data but uh, since 2016, once again, uh, you will find all the paper 6 uh, that means different time zone uh, no matter like which paper it is there must be a question and usually that's question number 4 uh, which will ask you to plan an experiment so here is an example uh, of paper 6 in 2016 um, 
it asks you to plan an experiment about the area of water surveys and how it will affect the rate of cooling in of the hot water inside the container and usually they will give you some guideline uh, and then um, will want you to stay very detailed and also the graph and some precaution improvement and those things and here's another example is also from 2016 uh, you can't really you can't really see any of these uh, before 2016 so here is an example of how uh, you need to plan uh, for different types of paper with uh, different strength would um, have you know different effect and and how uh, you can plan an experiment to check that if you want me to talk about uh, this kind of question in the new video please comment below and let me know so here you have it boys and girls this is a curriculum change in 2016 if you find this video useful please drop the like and i will see you guys next time